going on guys? Today we are putting these exhaust cutoffs on this 335. This is Tristan's car. It's pretty much stock, but he wants it loud. He lives in a quiet neighborhood, so he can't have a straight pipe. So we're going to do a custom muffler to leave with these cutouts. It's going to be pretty sick. So we're going to get into that, show you step by step how to do it. All right, first thing we're going to do is take the exhaust off. The flange bolts up top are a 12 millimeter. Just going to zip those off. Okay, the next step is removing this brace right here. And we're gonna take it out. This is an eight millimeter on the back and a 13 on the nut on the front. Just gonna take those off. All right, the next step is taking this, uh, this Y brace off and it's gonna be eight T50 Torx bits. I'm going to leave two in just so it doesn't fall while I'm taking the next bolts out back there. Alright, the bolts that connect from there to there, those ones right there are an 18. Now we're going to take the, the last two off of this thing. It should just drop. All right, next up we're gonna take these exhaust hanger bolts off. Those ones right there, and they're an 18 millimeter. Once that bolt is off, these will just slide right off like that, doing on both sides. The next hanger is right here, and those bolts up there are a 13 millimeter. And the last hanger is right here. We're gonna be a 5 16 external torques. We gotta do the downpipe, open downpipe startup. Sounds good, dude. Okay, so how these work is, this straight pipe right here is gonna be the stock exhaust running through. And then you got this, the flap right here, is gonna go onto these, uh, onto that right there, that flange. And then, so when the flap opens up, instead of going through the stock exhaust, it's just gonna come straight through the straight pipes. And then they give you a little, a little turn down to put on the end of that. So you can turn it down wherever. So we're gonna turn it down for what? Turn down for what? And then we're gonna put it on and I'll show you where we're gonna put it. All right, so the way we're gonna put these in is right before the muffler. We're just gonna replace that part with the pipe right here. And that way there's plenty of room on either side of the mufflers that we can bend it off and like kind of take it out on this side of the, the wheel right there. So that should be meant we're going to do the cuts and then do the welds and like test fit it in first. But that's where we're going to put it. All right, so I marked it right here and right here. And what we're going to do is hopefully cut just this straight part out and then cut that and cut that and just pop this middle piece right into there so we won't have to worry about the bends or anything so I'm gonna make these cuts now There it is. All right, now we're gonna cut the cutoff piece to fit it into there. Cause we gotta make it shorter, but it shouldn't be that sketch. It's a little sketch, but not much.
Now we're gonna cut the piece over here. We can't cut it with the chop saw because of that, but we'll just cut it with the wheel and be accurate as possible. We got that cut off with the grinding wheel, pretty good cut, no big deal. And now we're gonna see if it fits. If we're fucked, we need to do more. It looks like we need to do more on this side, or on that side, I don't know. <coughs> if we could do more on that side, I guess. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more on this side, just cause it's less hard to do, and then a little bit more on that side. I just cut this side a little more with the cutting wheel. I didn't cut this side anymore, but I think it like might fit. Yo. All right. No welding Fucking, needed. We don't even need to weld it. Like it's good. So we're gonna slap it back on the car and we're done. All right, now we're gonna <laughs> test fit the thing to get the right angle on the piece that the flange goes on to so we can tell. So we're gonna put the exhaust back under and then do that. So we got the exhaust mounted up again, and I put it in there to test fit it. We think we're gonna have the flange just the way it is right there, but just in case, we're gonna pop the uh, the the flap and the turn down on to see if it will work because the flap has this weird, like I guess the mechanism to open the flap is like right there, and it's like really big and long and awkward, so. We're going to see if it actually fits up in there. Alright, so this is what we're going with. We got the pipe in here and it's coming down like that. This is all nice and tucked up here. It shouldn't hit any of that. We should be good there. And then the dump is going to run right off of here. Right out the side of the car fucking prime like the fitment is perfect so that's what we're going with I'm gonna tack weld it in there take this off tack weld it in in this exact location and then uh, we'll take the exhaust out and I'll finish the welds and then we're gonna do the other side Alright, the welds are all good on here. A little bit of a fuck up there, but either way, I'm gonna get these painted, some rust oleum so they don't rust out, and then move on to the next one. Alright, just cutting the second one, cutting the middle piece out. 
Gotta cut it like pretty close. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> you trying to have kids, dude? All right, got the second one mocked up and uh, tacked up. Now about to weld the second one on for good. And then we're gonna paint them and we should be fucking primed, so. Yeah, that's how it is right now. Just gonna finish the welds. We'll be good to go. That's juicy. We got this high heat paint. We're just gonna paint up the welds just so they don't rust through because welds rust faster than fucking anything. So we're just gonna paint these up pretty good and then pop her back in and get everything wired up and stuff, so. Okay, for the wire that goes down to the, uh, the cutoffs, they put it through this vent in the battery box or whatever and then swung it to the back and then it comes down right out of there so that's what we did for that all right now we're gonna put the exhaust up for hopefully the last time Pepper, bro. <laughs> what are you laughing? nothing dude oh, I get to be the f fucking cameraman now bitch <laughs> This is what we got going on over here, boys. Shout out to Robbie Bobby. Bro, are you impacting aluminum bolts right now? Yup. Wait till you see the rest of the video. Should I did? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Alright, now that the exhaust is all mounted up, we're going to start putting the cutoffs onto the pipes. Uh, don't forget to put the two gaskets in between each, uh, each thing. And then um, after we get the bolts all tightened up, the last step is to put the, the turndowns on and then to connect the wires to the cigarette lighter. So, yep. All right, now we got the uh, the dumps all on, all good to go. Uh, we got the splitter hooked up right in the middle of the two wires from each thing, and we're gonna run the splitter to the cord that we ran down from the trunk, and we're gonna make sure to keep these wires off the exhaust so they don't melt uh, with some <laughs> zip ties. I'll show you where they put those, and then uh, yeah. All right, so we got a zip tie here, a zip tie there, and one more over there, just to keep the wire up and out of the way, and it works perfect. It's actually coming together fucking sweet, so. I'm gonna hook this up and then pop it in the cigarette lighter, and then we should be rolling. We got the wire run to the front end of the lighter, and if you come down here, and I fucking press the button, you can see that shit open up. And then close her up. Let's let's start it, yeah, dude. They're working. Mitt. I'm so excited. Can you clear that? You good? I'm stuck on something. How do you do it? Oh yeah. Whoa. There you go. I'm getting stuck. Now I think I'm stuck on the other side. You are still up. 
All right, we good? All right, there we go. We're learning. Do I lift up on the next one? No. To get that club right up. All right. She's on the ground. Is it open or is it closed? It's closed right now. Keep it closed, it closed and then we're gonna open it on the cold start. Ready? Yeah, start it up. Here we go, ready? That's insane, dude. Wow. Dude, that's, that's insane. That's what the butterfly belt still disconnected. If I reconnect it, I might reconnect it. Because then I so can have it quiet. So it's super quiet when it's... And then I can like switch it, you know? Yeah. That'd be dope. Are you, am, I, am I still a uh, fucking Corvette thing? Ah, get his face. Get his face in this. Ah! I guess he's kind of cool. <laughs> it's fucking sick. What happened? Alright. About get, to get, first, get, take get, the first get, rip. Dude, you're losing like 50 horse. At least. Oh my god! Dude, there's no way, dude. Just put him on. Right, there good. you go. That's good. <laughs> Things that off. I got the keys to keys. Now she's slammed too. That's it. What do you think? I think it's a success. Super success. This is dope. If you want to be quiet in your neighborhood, but you want a fucking loud exhaust, get this shit. It's not that hard to put in. Just a little welding. Or if you want to be quiet on the main road and loud in your neighborhood. Either one, dude. Either <laughs> one. I don't <laughs> Yup. Uh, yeah. There you go. Sounds good to me. But yeah, dude. Fucking sick mod. Definitely recommend it. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.